Today we're going inside a San Francisco staple that specializes in sustainability and exceeding expectations. We are giving you the skinny on Luce. I am here with Chef Daniel Corey. How important is it for you guys to buy local? That's uh, very important to us here. We always use meat and seafood that's been raised sustainably. Uh, try to buy local produce as much as possible and use local ingredients. Um, the menu has global influence, but we try to buy everything locally and impart that with those kind of ingredients. The first dish we have here, it's a handmade sweetbread ravioli. We make the pasta here in house. It's an egg yolk dough, uh, crispy sweetbreads. Um, it's garnished with shaved burgundy truffles. Um, the filling in the pasta is actually sweetbreads as well, mixed with ricotta, chives, parsley, and we top it with a truffle sauce. And the dumbest question in the world, what's the sweetbread? Sweetbread is the thalamus gland of a calf. A what, a what, a what, a what? The thalamus gland, so it's in the neck. And when a cow reaches a certain age, the gland doesn't exist anymore, so. Well, I have something embarrassing. Once I ordered sweetbread because I thought it was like a dessert, but no. <laughs> yeah, that happens quite a bit, actually. People order the dish and have no idea what they're going to get. Right, and they always love it, I'm sure. Always. <laughs> and then the wine that you chose to pair with it. Uh, it's the 2008 La Fenetra Chardonnay. Um, it's from Santa Maria, which is an hour south of Paso Robles. Uh, we chose this wine because of the extraordinarily, extraordinarily long growing season. It allows the grapes to develop acidity. So with the malolactic fermentation and the acidity in the grape, it pairs really well to cut the richness, but also enhance the sweetbread. Very nice. And then next, holy smokes, this lamb dish is like a work of art for sure. So this is spring lamb. Uh, it's been poached and roasted. It's got a piece of lamb belly alongside of it. Baby carrots, turnips, artichokes. And you picked an amazing 2007 Ridge to go with this. Uh, tell us about the wine. Uh, it's the Santa Cruz Estate uh, from Ridge, which is in the Santa Cruz Mountains, as you said. Um, it doesn't have the overly ripe fruit that you associate with California cabs. It's uh, a Bordeaux style blend. So it pairs well with the, the subtleness of the lamb and the vegetables. And the cool thing about Ridge, a lot of people don't know about them. They have a very rich history dating back to the uh, big Paris. Uh, they came in fifth and then they were re-voted again 30 years later and they won again. So they really did help put California on the map globally. Correct. And that's with the Montebello. Yeah. So, and we actually <clears throat> pair with Ridge for a wine dinner we're doing now. So we have a, a really good relationship with them. So we like to promote their wines and we also like to drink them as well. Well, I like to drink them too, but that one's so dang far away. I don't think I'd have to reach over you, push you out of the way to get it. And last but not least, holy smokes, this dessert is to die for. Yeah, it's a caramelized squash mousse. So again, it's a tribute to the season. Like here at Luce, we like to keep it seasonal. So it's a caramelized squash mousse on a gingerbread cookie with an apple cider sorbet and a gingerbread crumble. And the top is fried, crispy butternut squash chips. Wow. And uh, you paired? Uh, Pedro Jimenez Sherry. Uh, it's from Andalusia in Spain. It kind of evokes those fall flavors, uh, spice, nutmeg, clove. So it pairs well with the uh, squash. What if someone's afraid of sherry? Because they, they look at that, they go, I don't know, I bet I don't want to try that one champagne or something I'm more used to. What would you say to them? I mean, anyone who likes sugar is going to like the sherry. It's kind of burnt brown sugar, molasses. It's And with the dessert, it pairs, it's amazing. It's actually wonderful. That was the best tip I've ever heard. If you like sugar, you like sherry. It's simple, right? True. And I read that you, uh, I was kind of going through your bio, so I was Googling you totally. I'm totally stalking you, Chef. I read a little bit that you get inspired by the weather. So do you pick fog-related dishes all day long in SF or what? Uh, no, as much as I'd like to, but um, more, th soup and more the seasons and sense of place. Yeah. So it's nice if it's cold, like when we do an amuse bouche, which we change every day. If it's really hot, I like to do something cold. If it's really cold, I like to do something hot. So just the inspiration from the weather. It doesn't dictate the menu, but it definitely dictates dishes on a daily basis. It always dictates my mood, I gotta be honest. It's true. <laughs> and if there's one thing about your cooking style uh, that you would want people to know, maybe your signature, what would you say that is? Um, I like to think that the food's it's simple, but it's still sophisticated. Ooh, I like that. I think we should cheers to simple sophistication. Cheers.